Okay, welcome back everybody to Tyrion 2000. Okay. I I'm still gonna be checking out the, the possible upgrades that I can get. In terms of weapon, I think I'm good. And I think this is the most I can get out of this. And I, I definitely prefer what I have right now. I think I'm maxed out in this one too. Got the best possible shield. This generator is the most expensive one. The sidekicks I don't use them. And let's continue with this uh, Diliani area. This is like the sixth or seventh stage I'm playing right here. Remember this is part of episode four. Which honestly do not know if, if it is part of the main game or not. Remember we got an actual ending at the end of episode 3 basically telling us that we won the war and we saved the planet or the world or, or, or the galaxy, whatever we are saving I mean, I know this version actually got extra episodes but I don't know if, if this is one of them Uh, the, the amount of enemies that will pretty much one shot you will be more common as we go. Look at how tough these guys are. So does this count as a bonus game? Or a bonus area? Because they're pretty generous with the money. At, the rate, at this rate, sorry, they are pretty much giving you out everything basically because you're not expected to not to have your your weapons fully upgraded by now I guess that's the reason why they give you everything oh shit Yeah, it's definitely an all-out attack. Yeah, it's really tempted to go, go, you know, uh, go get this, this jams and and get more money. But no. Boss time or mini boss? Does it have a health bar? So it might be just a mini boss. Look at that big laser thing. Oh, something tells me you are the weak points. Not the thing I've been attacking. Okay, is there any of these things that I can destroy so they don't bother me anymore? For example, these. I mean, I'm making progress. I still have my shield very low. Or one shot did it all. I don't know, something happened there. Wait. I destroyed one of the parts. Oh shit. Okay, now the real boss comes. And obviously I'm not gonna go right in front of it if I don't know when it is going to shoot the lasers. See? Probably right after it shoots the laser it should be more aggressive. And then move to the sides a little bit. Something tells me this is the, the, the final boss to this episode. I mean, I say that because of the amount of levels we have been going through. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, there's more? Another face? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I mean, this definitely is like a final boss to the game, I would dare to say. Three faces? Danger. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it continues with the laser, shooting it more often. It's not gonna shoot the lasers diagonally, that's all I really care about. Careful. Yeah, it's following where I am, or... No, it's just moving back and forth. Okay, it's completely destroyed. Under Delhi. 
Yeah, it was not a difficult boss, but still needed to be careful. Not the end of this episode, huh? Wow. Uh, I think there's a new... Oh, never mind. No full shield yet. I think the generator is for the armor. I think it's the armor uh, what the generator upgrades. Oh shit, I moved to Savara again. Super fast crawling. Oh no, not this enemy again. That was probably the level that actually got the most trouble in, in beating. That was the end of episode 3, speaking of which. Yeah, this is supposed to be like increased scrolling speed and I guess those games in back in the day couldn't handle that much speed, so it, it didn't look so smooth. So that's why it has this weird effect of, well, the one you can see there. Unless it was done intentionally, at this rate, I'm never gonna know. So the level is called Approach. What are we approaching? Oh no, 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 don't, don't you start. I think the worst is definitely the, the, the one with that fucks around with the ball. These ones are not so bad. Yeah, I say that as I was right about to get killed by one of those. That was pretty much waiting for me. It's faking the squishing. Oh no. Thank fuck it didn't kill me. It could have easily. Well, here, here he comes. Yeah, danger because of... Yeah, I knew it. So what is it repeating bosses? I think it's the first time I actually see a recycled boss. And of course it's gonna be the worst. Of all the bosses in this game. At least I'm killing it fast. I think the weak point is actually the ball. Alright. Not so bad, all things considered. And it was a relatively short level. Not done yet. Wow. Okay, I wanted to see the generator. Well, it, it doesn't tell me if it increases my armor. Maybe just the shield things. Yeah, because you see the armor meter, but the armor remains the same always. So I don't know what I'm missing out actually to make my armor more powerful and maybe not being too worried about not dying so fast. Ship type maybe? I mean, look at this. Finally, okay, maybe this makes a difference. Look at this. This is probably what I needed to upgrade my ship, which actually I was looking at in the first episode and it was the, the one I have right now is the only one available. But now I got a lot more choices and I have enough money to buy a, uh, probably the best. Now, the question is... It keeps all my good things, the same weapons, same shield, but it got better armor. So I guess I'll be able to survive longer? This is quite a long episode, isn't it? I mean, I don't think I want to put this uh, extra armor to the test. At least I know that it got full armor now. I guess that implies that I'm not gonna be dying 
immediately. Okay, I lose my shield still very quickly. I still have to upgrade my shield some more. I guess that upgrade will come with time. But at least I finally got enough money to upgrade the ship to, to the best that I can get. Maybe the armor still decreases the energy of my shield quickly. I mean, even with this max armor, but maybe I can crash into big enemy ships without dying immediately. I guess that's what the armor does. Well, this became a bullet hell now. It really did. Before that, it wasn't like this. Some enemies were shooting things every now and then. But now everything is shooting massively. At least, like, in the good fashion of bullet hells. The bullets go slow enough and in a pattern. So you have the time to react to it. Dude, I'm so glad that I have these diagonal and side shots. Those make life infinitely easier. Yeah, it looks like I'm taking damage slowly slower because of the armor A at times it doesn't seem so but okay these type things apparently are not taking damage am I only supposed to shoot the, th the middle part of the ship okay I won the battle somehow did it time out maybe it did this keeps going. Wow. It would have been interesting actually because of this change of type, sh uh, the ship type. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, we, we experienced this before. We got actually a more expensive one, but it decreased my armor. Generator, same one. We're like going around planets again, like going around. Yeah, fleet is the the one le the the one area, sorry, which we were dealing with this. Uh, big ships coming at me and the the shield with the ball. But yeah, even though they are repeating the names of the areas or technically the location in which I'm flying around, um, it's not the same level. So right into a boss battle. And I'm destroying it very fast, which means it's probably just the first phase. Oh shit. Yeah, it was clearly just the first part. We're going to be destroying it little by little. Yeah, this is another boss that really got the appearance and the challenge of a final boss. Multiple faces. A variety of attacks. It's got all the elements. Side shots. I love them so much. This thing is not vulnerable yet. Well, this ship will be moving any time soon. 
Well, it makes sense that the whole level is the boss battle since it got many phases. What am I supposed to be destroying now? I don't see the arrows indicating what to shoot. Some of these thi things, sorry, really take a while to destroy. Oh, the thing that shoots the lasers are the ones that I'm supposed to attack now. But they're not vulnerable until they actually go attack me. Well, this might take a while then. Look at the side shots damage. See how convenient it is actually to get right next to the guy? When he comes to uh, shoot the lasers. Again, it will take a while. Look at the amount of damage. Yeah, it's super risky. I'm gonna go for the other one. And now they are getting more aggressive with the missiles, apparently. And I'm gonna shoot the other laser shooter. Did he hit it properly with the side shot? I don't know, but these missiles are really distracting. Okay, at least I know that I'm not taking damage when I get to the side of the laser shooter. I see some missiles coming at me, but apparently they do not hurt me. Okay, we got the two laser enemies. Yeah, stop making noise, please. I'm gonna go for the cannons. Uh, the bullets are rude. Shut up. Oh, okay. When I am the, in the warning sign, I lose my armor. So when I get that item back, not only stops the sound, but also I recover my armor. Again, I don't know what difference it is making in this situation, to be honest. Okay, let's get to the other side. Shit. Side shots maybe should be the solution here. Uh oh. This was a bad idea. Yes. And now I'm shooting, I guess, the main guy. At least the front port, or front part. Which doesn't seem to be too bad, considering that I don't have to be right in front of it. And, and I'm shooting it with the side shots, which have proven to be super powerful. I mean, if, if this isn't the final boss of the game, I don't know what is. What is shooting the lasers? The, that, those balls? Yeah, I'm out of armor again. I'm doing damage to the balls and stuff, but I'm at risk. Yeah, I think these are shooting the things. Oh, I killed it. Please, no more balls. There we go. Whew, that was intense. And that was the level? Only a level? What about the episode? What about finishing the episode, dude? Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.